In 2016, the Guggenheim Museum of Manhattan, New York, unveiled a hulking piece by Sun Wan and Peng Yu of China entitled Can't Help Myself. It was made of industrial robot, stainless steel and rubber, cellulose ether and colored water, lighting grid with visual recognition sensors, acrylic wall with aluminum frame. In other words, it was a Kuka robot arm fitted with a broom-like end that would sweep the ether into itself when the ether reached a certain point labeled as too far by the visual recognition sensors. It was encased in the acrylic and aluminum structure to ensure the red liquid wouldn't splash the rest of the museum's pristine white walls or the pieces on lockers. It ran for three years this way until 2019, when it became too slow to move and was finally unplugged. It had been installed into Venice's Art Biennale before its death as part of the exhibit May You Live in Interesting Times. From the Guggenheim Museum's publication Tales of Our Time, the author's intent were as follows. To consider an increasingly mechanized and automated global reality through the development of technologies and networks, Sun Wan and Peng Yu's new work, Can't Help Myself, engages AI robotics and a visual sensor control system. In the exhibition space, we find a large robotic arm with a shovel atop a base. The machine rotates and shovels back an identifiable viscous deep red liquid that spreads out from underneath and around the base. Over time, the repetitive shoveling leaves marks and residue that resemble bloodstains, evoking the idea of surveillance and warfare surrounding border control and land disputes. Akin to real life, the borders that emerge and disappear Beyond the blood and lives sacrificed in border conflicts and wars, these security mechanisms affect the everyday. From surveillance cameras in urban areas to smartphones that allow us to document and share moments of our lives while monitoring and controlling our behavior. These multiple layers of surveillance point to the relationship between humans and machines. As we create machines and design programs to control them, we inadvertently become the subjects of their monitoring. It's a compelling mission for this piece to convey, an idea that no doubt resonates deeply with Americans post 9-11, as well as plenty of other countries that struggle with border control and warfare. However, when the pandemic hit in 2020 and we were all forced to stay indoors and learn different things, this strange and disturbing piece of artwork found a new home on social media. Tumblr, Instagram, and TikTok posts all found themselves working to interpret this odd machine, some with ridicule and some with empathy. It ended up leading to some amazing conversations about mental health, capitalist society, and the human condition. While not the author's original intent, it's enabled people to see contemporary and political art in a new light. Another piece by the same author is called Deer. It features a silicon chair with a rubber hose run through the seat, whipping violently from the air being run through it. There are once again acrylic walls to contain the worst of the violence, but the hose can reach upwards, striking the museum walls above the acrylic ones. The acrylic is littered with scratches. I won't add my own interpretation to this work, as I simply wanted to bring attention to the pieces and artists, but I'd be curious to hear yours. Leave a comment as to how you view Can't Help Myself. Did you see the author's original intent before I told you what it was? How about here?